The S500 Promedy, also known as 55R6M Triumphator M, is a Russian hypersonic surface-to-air missile slash anti-ballistic missile system, replacing the A100 and 35 missile system currently in use, and supplementing the S-400. 1. History The S-500 was developed by the Almas Anti-Air Defense Concern. Initially planned to be in production by 2014, the first unit entered service in 2021 with the 15th Air Army. According to the original plans, 10 S-500 battalions were to be purchased for the Russian Aerospace Defense VKO, under the State Armament Program 2020 GPV 2020. The S-500s will work in parallel with S-400s and together are planned to replace the S-300 missile systems. The first units are planned to be deployed around the Moscow Oblast and the country's central area. A naval version is the likely armament for the new lighter-class destroyer, which was to enter service after 2020 but is not operational as of 2022. CEO of Rostec Corporation Sergei Chimzov declared the beginning of S-500 production on 30 June 2019. Despite that, serial production of the first 10 systems, ordered in late 2020, only begun in 2021, a new contract was signed in August 2022. 2. Testing In May 2018, Russia conducted the longest-range surface-to-air missile test to date with the S-500. According to reports citing unnamed sources familiar with U.S. intelligence on the program, the S-500 was able to hit a target 482 kilometers 300 miles away which is 80 kilometers further than the previous record 13. On 4 June 2019, the Russian Ministry of Defense posted a video showing the successful launch of a new anti-ballistic missile system in the form of a long-range surface-to-air missile. Though the nature of the air defense system, which was being tested, was not mentioned, it has been widely speculated to have been a test of the S-500 Prometheus long-range surface-to-air missile system. The S-500 radar was tested in late 2019. As of July 2021, the Russian mode has released the first public footage of a live fire test of the new S-500 anti-ballistic missile system at Kapustin Yar. 3. Operational History The first S-500 regiment went on combat duty in Moscow on 13 October 2021. 4. Design The S-500 is designed for intercepting and destroying intercontinental ballistic missiles, as well as hypersonic cruise missiles and aircraft, for air defense against airborne early warning and control, and for jamming aircraft, with a planned range of 600 km for anti-ballistic missile and 500 km for air defense, the S-500 would be able to detect and simultaneously engage up to 10 ballistic hypersonic targets flying at a speed of 5 km per second to a limit of 7 km splash. It also aims at destroying hypersonic cruise missiles and other aerial targets at speeds of higher than Mach 5, as well as spacecraft. The altitude of a target engaged can be as high as 180 to 200 km. It is effective against ballistic missiles with a launch range of 3,500 km. The radar reaches a radius of 3,000 km. Other targets it has been announced to defend against include unmanned aerial vehicles, low Earth orbit satellites, space weapons launched from hypersonic aircraft, and hypersonic orbital platforms. Five components. The S-500 consists of 77P-6 launch vehicle based on the BAZ-69000 and 9610X10 truck, 55K-6MA and 85Z-62 command posts based on BAZ-69000 and 92-126X6, 
91N6 AM, Acquisition and Battle Management Radar, a modification off the 91N6, Big Bird, towed by the BAZ-64 03018X8 tractor. 96L6 TSP Acquisition Radar, an upgraded version of the 96L6 cheese board on BAZ-69000 and 9610X10. 76T6 Multimode Engagement Radar on BAZ-6909-228X8. 77 T6 ABM Engagement Radar on BAZ 69000 and 9610X10. The type of missiles used, especially for the long range ABM slash ATBM role, has not been disclosed yet. It is likely to be a derivative of the SA 12B Giant two stage ATBM, since the 77 P6 launch vehicle is originally meant to carry two containers for the SA 12B. The other missiles to be used against classical airborne targets are likely to be the same as in the S-400 system. <laughs> 7. Export In September 2021, Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov said that India could be a prospective and probably the first S-500 customer. Also according to the Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, Turkey is ready to consider possible S-500 purchases in the future. All content on the Angie Norman channel is provided for educational purposes. Thumbnails and titles are for illustration only. Thus today's information, I hope it is useful and becomes knowledge for all of you. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. See you again.